and welcome back to Gapey's Garden. Today I'm gonna show you my three perennial beds that I have growing in the garden here in the backyard starting with this one and I've got four different varieties of mint in this bed. This is just the regular old spearmint and then I've also got some chocolate mint which actually does smell like chocolate which is kind of cool. And then over here is lemon balm which I don't think is technically a, a mint but it does grow and look like mint. And then the last one I have is not as big as the others. This is a variegated pineapple mint and it's kind of more spread out. I started with one plant last year but it's kind of spread out um, in different spots back here. And then also I have some tree collards. I have two of these. One here and one over here. And you can't start this from seed, you actually have to start it from cuttings. So I got a couple cuttings from a friend, and that's from last year actually. And I kept these inside over the winter and put them out in the garden in the spring. And hopefully it will survive this winter. And then I've got a green globe artichoke, which I tried to grow last year in the front yard, and it didn't survive the winter, so I'm going to try it back here. And the rest of this bed is asparagus, which I started from seed, let's see, I think it's three years ago now. So this is the third year, and these grow very tall, kind of like a fern, um, when you don't harvest them. And I, since I started these from seed, I won't be able to harvest until next year. I did try one raw, just to try it this year, but I'm not going to harvest anymore. And then the next bed we have pretty much mostly blueberries. I have one, two, three, four, ten blueberry plants in this bed and almost all are different varieties. And I did dig up one in this spot that I was going to plant another one in, but I decided to just throw in a, let's see, this is a cauliflower, a purple cauliflower, which isn't growing very quickly, so I'm not sure if I'll leave it in there or not. I didn't have room for it anywhere else, so I just put it in there. And also, back here I have a rhubarb, which I started from seed. And this isn't really a great place for it, so I'll probably move it to the front yard somewhere. And then I have another bed, which is just full of raspberry. This is a, an ever-bearing gold variety, which is really tasty. Um, it's just starting to get some flower buds here they haven't opened yet but uh, they should in probably a couple weeks so that's all that's in this bed and I have, I've got this wire around it to try and keep it from falling over because it does grow pretty tall and then the last bed is my herb bed and this one's a little sparse right now I'm planning on getting a couple more herbs to put in here not everything survived the winter I do have one thyme, this is a lemon variegated thyme. I had another one over here, but it didn't make the winter. And surprisingly, this lavender survived the winter. Usually I have really bad luck with lavender, but for some reason this one made it. And this is a sage, it doesn't look like it's gonna make it, but this was a, a reddish purple variety. It was really pretty looking, but I'll probably have to tear that out. And then this, it looks a lot like the pineapple mint, but it's actually a variegated sage. And I'm glad to see that one survived. And then I have tarragon, and that's just starting to, to come back up. And this is oregano. You'll notice it's really bright green, almost yellow. That's because this is a golden variety of, of oregano. So that's that one made it through the winter. And then over here I have anise hyssop, which I started from seed last year. And it's, it's a really s nice um, smelling herb that you can use for teas. And that's pretty much it that's in my perennial beds. I'll do another update later on from my other beds. And I've also, as you can see, got some, this is borage that is seeding from last year. So I'm sure I'll have lots of that. Oh, I also have parsley that I just put in here. 
um, that I started from seed this year. I had two in here, but oh, there's here's the other one. So there's some weeds coming up in here. I need to also pull, it looks like. But that's pretty much it over here, and I'll be starting some more herbs. I need to get another rosemary, because that didn't survive either. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll post another update from these other beds soon. Thanks for watching.